Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with some more LEGO The Incredibles. This time we have level 6 Screen Slaver Showdown Free Play, where we're going to trudge through and find all of the mini kits scattered throughout. We're also going to get a trophy achievement called Your Own Kind of Incredible, which is actually pretty easy. All you have to do is switch to a character who can put out some fires before using the family build at the end of this level. And, uh, oh to the, yeah, you are going to need Mind Control, Sonar, and Fire to go ahead and complete this. So you can actually get Mind Control, Sonar, and Fire all by going to Edna modes and creating your custom characters if you don't have some that have those abilities. Now, as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and toggle over from our map to the screen select. And look at that, screen slaver showdown number six that we're going to choose. Make sure you choose the free play option. And keep in mind, we do have quick links down below in the video description if you're looking for them collectibles. And away we go. Look at that. Before we even have control of our heroes, we actually get that true super stud requirement. And that is because of our attract studs and multiply studs red bricks that we both have turned on. So that was pretty nice. Makes one of our gold bricks pretty easy. And you know how we love us some gold. All right, so here you go. You can see a couple of guys under mind control screen slaver, but this guy here happens to be not under screen slaver's control. So we'll go ahead and step in and take over and do a little mind control of our own. And uh, again, I used a character I created from Edna Mode's place. I'm using the custom character creator. Uh, that, that's assuming you don't have a sonar character, which I don't think I do at this point either. Although, sorry, not sonar. I'm on sonar now. I meant mind control. <laughs> Anyway, speaking of sonar, we need somebody like Sully who can get the RAR on. That's right. RAR, I'm a monster. <laughs> it opens up that insides. And look, what do we got? What, what, wait, what do we got? Oh, it's a mini kit. Can't see it because this guy's so stinking big. But we'll go ahead and move around and grab that. Now, we do have a minute or two before the next collectible. We do have some story-based bits that we're going to go ahead and take on, such as building up this psionic sphere point where we're going to need Violet and Dash to go ahead and charge up the power, or pom pom pump it up, as we like to say. And it's going to open up the glass door and allow Dash to get inside and run on his little hamster wheel there. So switch on over to Dash and get your Dash on. And open the door. Uh, well, I guess it pops open the other. They look like giant washing machines, don't they? But uh, yeah, for whatever reason, making these go on the fritz opens the door into the next area. And it actually gives us access to a silver lock. Silver lock. Go ahead and choose your favorite silver brick breaker. We're going to use the Anchorman goon because he's got those lovely explodey fishies. And uh, toss one on there and sneak inside the back room and grab that mini kit. So three officially in the bag. Again, we do have some quick links down below if you are in a hurry to get to the next one, which happens to be number four, and that's not going to be until we get inside the vents here. Now, we've got Void, who's under the mind control of Screen Slaver, kind of waiting to take us on here. But luckily for us, we have a character that can go invisible and sneak on by. So we're going to do that with Violet and then spin this wheel, which is going to raise this door a wee bit. And it's going to come down and kablooey. All right, it actually gives us the turn crank there, so we can go ahead and go invisible and bring that wheel right back over here, spin it around, and open the little hatch there. That's right, we got a hobbit hole. We're going to sneak into, and that's where our next collectible is going to be. So as you can see here, the mini kit number four has popped up now. Switch to somebody like Dash to get inside this little miniature area. Now, the story wants you to go right, but we are going to go left. Once you get to the very top, there is a little cavern here that's dark. You can see something spinning in there. We need a character that can provide some light. So we thought we'd put on Lightning McQueen, and then we thought we'd go to Junior, and neither of them work. They apparently are too tall to pull out. So uh, for some reason, I ended up with Russell. I, I thought I was selecting one of the construction workers, which I will pull up that and go down here to one of them now. And look at that. We've got the old mining hats on. And booyah, kashaw, we can sneak in there and grab that. So Mini Kit 4 is officially ours as well. Now we can keep on keeping on and make our way all the way to the far right side where we've got this spinning wheel that we're cranking around and it's actually going to blow some steam and uh void is going to not be oh actually it's crush hour crush hour is what because he uses the super destroy telekinesis right there you can see it's red and uh he tries to take us down we're, we're running back we're gonna go right back through that hobbit hole which we can't do so i'm gonna quickly switch to my other character and now we're gonna actually use the portal wall in the back now you can use a character like void or jack jack will get it done too we also have a custom character that has the teleport ability as well so once you get inside the hole go ahead and smash the stuff on the left and you should find a mini kit inside one of the taller pieces and oh to the yeah you've got five 
All right, back inside the portal we go. Sneak to the other side. We've got that switch that we can flip to go ahead and raise the roof, but uh, it doesn't do us much good as we're both through now. Uh, what we want to do now is head to the far right side of the area where there is a ladder. We're going to drop down and then switch to Edna mode. Now, there are a couple of other characters that do have kind of the... Uh, uh, what is the ability? Uh, it's like a little robot. Let's see, she's got like DJ Roomba. She's got a little robot that goes around. And of course, uh, we've got Ratatouille that does it too. Linguini can put out the little little, the little rat. And uh, so anyways, uh, there are a couple of characters that can do that. Make sure you get all the way to the end. Press the red button, which is going to drop some bricks. We'll go ahead and build them up into a mini kit. And hey, if you're not already, be off wind. Go ahead and check us out on Facebook. Every week we do have a giveaway. Those giveaways consist of stickers, Lego sets, all sorts of things. We've seen t-shirts, hats, video games. Uh, lots of stuffs, and if you're into free stuffs, or at least opportunities at it, you should definitely check us out on Facebook, and uh, hopefully you will be one of the next lucky contestants. All right, up we go in the elevator. Doesn't matter who you are, but once we get up here, we've got a bunch of fire. Now, this is not the fire you have to put out with Frozone in order to get that trophy achievement called your own kind of incredible. However, it is in the next room, so we got to go all the way to the end of the hallway with somebody with the violet brick building abilities. And we've got some of these bricks along the hallway here, so we're going to smash them and collect them. Once we get enough, it should start sparkling and indicate that we can make a master build here. This is kind of an interesting one here. We have a baby rattle. Uh, well, it's a good enough, though. It gets Jack-Jack's attention, and he is in fire mode, so he's going to go ahead and melt the door with his heat ray. And here we are in the room of doom. There's all sorts of people uh, actually in peril, almost on fire. But most importantly, in the very back of the room, we're going to go ahead and smash the cracked wall with somebody like Mr. Incredible. And in here, behind the Incredible brick that we need for the family build, there is a box. Smash the box, rebuild it into a mini campfire. Now we're going to have to switch to a character with the fire ability. Now, this is not Heat Ray. This is fire ability. And I had to go to Edna Modes and create a custom character with the fire superpower. So uh, I mentioned that in the beginning. Hopefully you guys had one before getting in here. But if not, it would be an okay time to go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, this is still the first area. So you'd have to replay the whole first section again to get here. So hopefully you followed my instructions. Now, speaking of instructions, uh, we also mentioned that there's a bonus trophy achievement for putting out all the fires without using the family build. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, as this is kind of a funny spot to try to load back into to get a trophy achievement later for a specific video. So uh, I've been kind of switching them up. Some I'm picking and choosing and doing in the levels. Some I'm not. Some I've got in the story. So uh, anyhow, we'll go ahead and get through them all together, I promise. Uh, but this is a fun one. Once they are all out, though, it should bling off up on your corner of your screen and give you what you need. Now, there is an Incredible Brick over here, and as you can see, we do need three to advance the family build. If I'm being fully honest here, I was not sure that uh, we could get by without using the family build at all. The story doesn't seem to advance, so I, I end up doing the family build anyways, but not before putting out all these fires and getting that trophy achievement. Ready? Here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bling! There we go. Your own kind of incredible. All right, so we do need one more incredible brick. We're going to need somebody with telekinesis over on the right-hand side to lift up this giant oven. I mean, especially when you look at Jack-Jack. Look how big that thing is. You can cook like five Jack-Jacks in there. I know that's a terrible thought, but just saying. Go ahead and shake it up. Ooh, ooh. And look at that. It drops out the final incredible brick. We'll take that. Thank you very much. And uh, now we'll go ahead and make this happen. Now, again, I, I, I don't know if there's a way to get by this without having to do the family build. Really, it's not a big pain or anything because we already had all of the bricks. And spam, 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 spam. That's right, completer them meters. And once they're all full, it's going to go ahead and take us away and give us a crazy... What is this? Oh, that's right. It's a big fire extinguisher. And here we go. It's going to spray and put out all the fires that we did not... And I think it's going to go ahead and take us away. Oh, look at all them studs. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. Because of our stud attract and our multiplier, we are at, well, look at that, 100 million studs. Now, we do have a psionic sphere spot. We're going to need somebody like Violet to go ahead and help us out. I'm not sure why. I guess there's a couple of other people that might have some psionic spheres, too. I was actually unaware of that. 
Uh, whenever I get the sphere out, I always feel like I need Jack-Jack. I don't know if you actually needed him for this particular one or not, but uh, put out the fires, and away we go into a cutscene, which has been removed. So here we are in the final battle scene. Now, there are four items scattered throughout that need to be exploded. I think it's four. Uh, maybe it's three. Let's see here. Nope. One of four things. I had to look at my cheat sheet. Uh, first one is going to be over in the far right corner of your screen. We're going to need a silver brick breaker to go ahead and toss something to get them exploded. Now, watch out, though, because there is a screen slaver controlled Frozone that is uh, trying to take us down here, and he keeps shooting us with the uh, frozen ice balls. You wouldn't think a snowball would uh, make it that cold, but it's awfully brisk. Now, watch out, too, as Mr. Incredible is trudging around trying to take you down. Now, there are four of those silver items, and as you can see, we've got two of them that we took out in this first area. You might have noticed, too, that our mini kit number eight had part parts, right? Part part A, part B. I think that's what we Do I do it one or two? I, I, I actually didn't look. I was looking at the screen, if I'm being totally honest. Anyhow, we've got two parts. We'll just call it that. And uh, the second part hack actually takes place once we get inside of the generator room that's that's what we're calling it anyways so after we get to a certain point of our battle here over on the far right side where that uh that table is right next to it's on the right side but left of the electric spot right below frozone right now there's a little table that opens up and it gives us a little hobbit hatch that we can go ahead and sneak into a generator room inside there we're going to get the next two of silver objects that we need to take down, but we're also gonna get a couple of other mini kits too. So uh, as it turns out, the generator room is very important. Now, uh, this is kind of, uh, I, I wasn't a big fan of this battle. I, as you've noticed lately, I'm not big fans of any battles. Um, you know, most of them kind of got away from the rule of three, and often there's like mini battles and more battles and then more mini battles. And like this guy, we gotta we gotta avoid all these attacks from Mr. Incredible while avoiding attacks from Frozone, while avoiding attacks from the other cronies too. And it, it just seems a bit much. But uh, once you finally get your way through it, uh, like I mentioned before, Frozone goes ahead and freezes both Mr. Incredible and himself up in these big towers. And uh, he drops some ice from the ceiling. And eventually one of those falls and it gives us access into the generator room. So uh, you just got to run around, try to avoid these guys as best as possible. And here you go. One, one of these next ones is going to drop and pew pew right down on that kind of uh, it looks like some sort of like a, a table or a computer station or something it's right there uh, just in front of me and there it is look at that we've got the little hobbit hole out now we just need to get over there and get a character small enough that can sneak inside there there you can see mini kit eight part b so i was right it was a and b once we get inside the little generator room you got some things to smash but most importantly in the far left corner and far right corner we are going to find the other two silver spots so uh pull out your favorite silver brick breaker i'm going to go with the anchorman goon again i don't know why i just i think these fish with like the explosive lipstick is just amazing. So I'm gonna toss another one over here. Boop, 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 boop. And look at that. Ba, 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 ba. We've got mini kit number eight. Now over on the left hand side, there is a giant green box. You see that right there? We're gonna do a butt slam. I took it down. It was kind of on the left side of your screen. And we're gonna need somebody with the electric ability to go ahead and pom, pom, pom up this po uh, power terminal here. Easy for me to say, right? And uh, once we do, this little uh, machine's going to lift up and puke out a medikit. Look at that. We got it. All right. Now, last but not least in the medikit departments, we've got one more inside this generator room. And uh, my notes actually said to take out the black spot black turbines and at first i didn't see them but look you gotta come towards the screen smash them all down with a few butt slams and uh once they're all gone you will notice a little spot for a clue or tracker ability now we've got russell as we have completed all of the free roam crime waves and story stuff and he was actually one of the family builds the pixar family builds but uh, if you don't have him yet you could go ahead and go to edna modes and create a tracker as you probably noticed we do have a custom character with the tracking ability uh, follow the old spot all the way to the dig point. Dig up the old handle here. Put it on the spot that indicates on the far right side of the room. Spin that room's door open and booyaka show. We've got the 10th mini kit. And look at that. We can smash a bunch of stuff. And you know me. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. And I have 146 million studs in this level alone. Now, that's going to certainly help us get to that trophy achievement for I am a billionaire. Hmm. All right, hop in that hamster wheel, power up the, actually overpower 
the old boat power, I guess it's the boat generator itself, and uh, things go hourly outside here, and Frozone is, he's out for the count right now. So we're going to build up the bricks in the middle of the room, which give us this weird Elastigirl point. She's going to go ahead and grab Frozone, which we can hop on by using the icon indicated and aim Frozone over at Mr. Incredible to continue freezing him, or you can be like me and pull Frozone out and do it on your own. Look at that. Here we go. All the way to the top. And all right. Actually, we still got to take out Mr. Incredible. See, we have freed Frozone, but Mr. Incredible is still not. Oh, no. Psych, it's Void. Void is the one we got to worry about. Or is it? Yeah, see, it is Mr. Incredible. So double Psych. Psych on the Psych. <laughs> all right. We just got this point here in the middle where we have to use Frozone to go ahead and charge up or build up another frozen lair. I had a little bit of a funny angle there. It took me a second, but there is a sweet spot where you don't get hit by Mr. Incredible, and you can build that up. And look at that. It actually takes us... Oh! That should have been edited out! A little mistakey poo That's all right. Hey, that is going to go ahead and wrap things up for Screen Slaver Showdown. Free play! We got the gold brick for completing the story in the story. We also got the true super gold brick for getting the true super stud requirement in this video. As you probably remember, we didn't even have control of our character yet, and it had already attracted enough studs and multiplied them to give us that true super. And look at that. We've got the micro hydro liner as our vehicle for getting all 10 of those mini kits. So... Oh, to the yeah, that's actually going to wrap it up for LEGO The Incredible Screenslaver Showdown Free Play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't already, check out our Thumby Must See. Check us out on social media if you're into that kind of thing as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We are getting to that home stretch of 100,000 subscribers. We are less than 10,000 away, and every one counts. So spread the word. Let everybody know about HTG. Much love, as always. Until next time.